My name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Hello racing fans and a warm welcome to our Gallup TV preview show for Wednesday. It is a double header. We were raced on Tuesday. It's Wednesday the 28th of February and we are at Hollywood Bets Gravel and on the turf track there's eight races carded. So as always the bar pot will begin in race number 1, 12 at 30. So trust you the valued racing fan is uh, fine and well and looking forward to this race meeting on Wednesday. Let's get straight into it and uh, race number one over 1100 meters. It's a maiden juvenile plate and uh, there is a field of nine runners that will go to post here. Yeah? A lot of unknowns in the race so keep an eye on the betting market but uh, once we pull up the field I'll give you the horses that are in single figures at the time of recording. So this is it. Number three is at eight to one. Horse number four, first timer called the Ghost, is at nine to two. Number five, Million Voices, is at thirteen to ten. Six, Samuel Longsword, is at eight to one. Seven, the Specialist, at seven to two, and it's double figures the balance. So of the race runners, you know that's what we know. Uh, Mr. Nibbles, Mike Miller's runner, I think will have to improve on what uh, he's shown on debut. And the stable jockey Tristan Gordon has gone for number five million voices. But one for trifectas and quartets. Horse number five million voices, the half sister to Bayview Express and give me a lullaby. Uh, there was good improvement for her last time out. She's one of two fillies in the race, the two fillies being numbers four and five, receiving their sex allowance. And I think if she continues to improve, having found one better last time out when beaten by the good thing on the day, could pro crow from the Byron Porter stable. Uh, I think she'll go very close to winning. And then on th that uh, line behind China Berry, and I'm speaking about numbers six and seven, you know, Samuel Longsword, I don't know what went wrong last time out after a pleasing introduction uh, behind Fine Out, showed very little, showed nothing, and was supported to start favorite behind China Berry. So that run was disappointing and hopefully he can bounce back to that form he showed on debut. But the specialist keeps me very interested. I watched that replay, and he's a horse that was lazy. Uh, he didn't know what it was all about in the early part of the race, and then he started to make good progress to the field behind China Berry. I think there's lots more to come from number seven, the specialist. So of the race runners, those look to be the principles. Uh, if I had to tip them, I'll go five, seven, and six. Five, seven, and six as my top three. And those are the runners that you can play around in the bar pot. But again, keep an eye on the first timers. If there's any betting support for any of them, then they worth including in trifectas and quartets. But the horse to beat will be Million Voices, the runner that uh, keeps me very much at uh, interested in race number one is horse number seven, the specialist, training at seven to two. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.